Thank you. And dramatic new time lapse video shows the explosive airport fire raging as gusty winds push the blaze from Orange County's Tribuco Canyon into Riverside County. Tonight, the massive blaze is still threatening thousands of homes, with some homes already lost to the flames. But there is some good news. Cooler temperatures have slowed down the flames, allowing firefighters to make some progress. Rachel Benetoff is live in Lake Elsinore with the latest on the airport fire tonight. Rachel. Micah Share, this fire isn't necessarily growing much in size, but it also hasn't yet been contained. Residents tell us they've been seeing hot spots popping up on this hillside here behind us throughout the day. The fire right now burning inside the canyon, so the flames aren't yet visible. What you can see are these sheriff's deputies over here manning a checkpoint. Once residents leave the area, they can't come back in. A devastating wildfire spanning two Southern California counties. The airport fire broke out Monday in Tribugo Canyon, quickly spread through Orange County and then hopped the freeway into Riverside County. And it came up over the hill and it just lit up the, the mountain last night. It ravaged communities like this one in El Carrizo Village and others along Ortega Highway near Lake Elsinore. Burned out cars, homes still smoldering. What's left? A deserted neighborhood, charred and unrecognizable. The extent of the damage and the number of homes destroyed isn't yet known. Well, we know that there are uh, have been structures damaged and destroyed um, because of the active firefight and the heat in some of those areas. Um, we haven't made access. Two people suffered injuries and 10 firefighters treated too. In this incredibly dramatic video, a battalion chief seen rescuing a woman caught in the midst of the fast moving flames. At last check, the fire burned more than 23,000 acres. Officials say it grew ever so slightly overnight and they're hoping to uphold that trend. The change in weather overnight slowed the fire's growth and empowered the ground and air forces to significantly improve the fire lines. Cooler weather allowed firefighters to slow down the flames and for crews to get more aggressive with their tactics and move closer to the fire line. A reassuring sign for Paul Kelly, who's surveying the scene and will report back to his family. If anybody's going to go, I'm going to send them away and I'll stay back. That's why I got my motorcycle. So in the, if the fire gets really close, it's easy enough for me to get out. I can get out 10 different ways. I don't need the road. Still, 5,500 homes remain under an evacuation order, and this impacts close to 19,000 residents in this hillside neighborhood. The Alversons say in their 33 years here, they've weathered plenty of fires, and this one is no different. You both are in the evacuation zone. Why have you chosen to stay? What, what is your plan? Um, because I've waited out the other fires. Well, I've not left. Really? Uh, you know, if it gets bad enough, it comes down low enough or starts doing the, the other houses, then we would leave. Mandatory evacuation orders continue for Robinson Ranch in Orange County and also areas around Ortega Highway. There are damage assessment teams ready to go up to survey the impacted areas, but at this point it is just too dangerous for residents to return to the area. We're live in Lake Elsinore. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Share Micah back to you in the studio. Rachel, thank you.